Hi, and welcome to The Daily Breath. My name's Heather Holloway, and I'm a breathwork practitioner. I just finished watching the evening news. And I don't know about you, but when I watch the news, I find myself wishing I hadn't watched the news. I'm whispering because everybody else is in bed, and of course now it's 11, I'm looking at the clock, 11.30. A little late to be doing this video, but I didn't want to miss a day. So now that I've heard about the governor's plan for reopening, he has a four point plan, and on his list of businesses which will reopen, a hair salon was not included. Can't believe it. So whenever I get bad news and I'm feeling sort of fed up, I generally turn to my old friend, chocolate. Oh yeah, tonight it is the semi-sweet morsels. Look at that. This is a big bag, my friends. <laughs> I try not to eat too many of those, but... One thing they did mention, they had a psychologist on the news, and he was talking about fatigue and uh, fatigue of being in quarantine and how people are fairly fed up. And I have to say, I'm feeling a little of that myself. <sighs> and it's taking quite a bit of sort of work every day to stay grounded and and try to be, um, you know, kind to people around me and, and try to live the four agreements and be patient. This morning I wasn't feeling patient and Rob made a point of telling me that I wasn't being, which he was right. So I had to um, walk away. Luckily it was a nice day, so I walked away and I did a little breathing and then I felt much better. So I'd love to hear, if you're feeling the same way, are you feeling fatigued by this quarantine at this point? Like, really, you'd like to turn the this station change the channel I imagine you are but I'd love to hear from you anyway please leave comments below so I'm just going to do this little breathwork meditation with you to keep me from eating more of these chocolate morsels because food is only an answer if you're hungry and I'm not so I'm gonna do um, 10 breaths and I'm going to, I'm going to just come back to grounding because I really don't know what else to do at this moment. I really don't feel inspired. I don't want to become more awake and alive um, just before I'm going to bed. So if you're watching this before you go to bed, just do some long, slower breaths and, um, and I'll catch up with you again tomorrow. So here we go. Let's do 10 breaths. The evening news. If it bleeds, it leads. You can count on that. I don't have to be influenced by the evening news. I don't have to watch the evening news, really. Things are going to play out whether I worry about them or not. Looks like we're going to have to keep wearing masks. But I don't have to wear a mask at my house right now. So I just need to stay focused on the now. Just stay in the present. Tomorrow hasn't come and yesterday is gone. Things are gonna work out just fine. So that's my 10 breaths. I feel like it's not as inspiring as some of my talks and yet it's very authentic and honest about how I'm feeling right now. I would recommend that you limit your watching of the daily news, maybe watch it once a day or maybe just read the recap online to keep yourself from getting charged up um, like I did. And so that you don't turn to chocolate in the middle of the night like I did. Okay, everybody, uh, this is me signing off. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. And I want to leave you with our mantra, which is we cannot always control what's going on around us, but 
we can control our response. And no, it doesn't have to con involve chocolate. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.